Just start filming. Fine, but I'm gonna have to show them and okay. explain first. Yeah, okay, yeah, do it. Guys, I wanna show you uh, my new tattoo. Okay. Actually, all right, this is my first tattoo. The first of oh, many? Yeah, well, you know, once you start. That's what I always hear, yeah. All right, check it out. I got this today. It's nice. I would tell you what it is, but it's completely obvious, right? It's roses with a skull and snake going through it. No, actually, it's a skull with crossbones. Oh, But uh -huh. instead of crossbones, the crossbones are guns. True. Oh, that is nice. What do you think? I thought it would be a good life decision to put that on my hand. Most tattoos are good life decisions. Yeah. So get used to that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, we were at the gun and knife show again today. And this is one of those stupid stamps they give you so you can, you know, leave and then come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not anyway, pay the entry fee again. Are we getting rid of this on camera? I don't know. I'm not sure if this will even work. I'm just curious. I swear to you, I washed my hands. Yeah, this really proves well, how, how well you washed your hands, doesn't believe, it? I can't believe we're making them watch this. Actually, it's working pretty good. Is this it? is actually makeup remover. Like one of those makeup yeah. remover um, wipes. For all you guys out there. <laughs> Okay, fine. Switch gets, sides though, because look, look at how... It gets rid of the mascara how, off your face. Yeah. Off your eyes. Actually, that one worked pretty good, surprisingly. Mm, yeah. Hey. Yeah, that really showed how um, thorough you washed your hands today at the disgusting I promise knife you store, knife places. Show, yeah, uh, how much germs, like if you could do the black light thing Yeah, and everything. because guess what? Okay, I got good. I got my hand stamp too, and I washed my hands throughout the day. Shut up. <laughs> I washed my hands twice since we got that, and we got that later in the day, okay? We got it at, like, noon. It was, like, 2 o'clock. Anyway, let's, let's, let's move on with this, okay? Yeah, we were at the gun show again okay, today. Okay, okay. The gun and knife show. Um, we've got, well, we've got a sleepover guest, Frankie. Yes, we do. Again. Highly um, suggested by our viewers. Yeah, this is the Benchmade bug out. We have been getting a lot of comments Same. to... Review this knife! Yeah. Those are all of our viewers' voices. That's how, they, that's how we hear you guys, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, the Benchmade Bug Out. Um, brand new for 2017. And you know what? We've been excited to look at this one. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. There's the box. Well, there's the price. Mm -hmm. That's apparently the price uh, you're going to find everywhere. You're going to find everywhere. Yeah. Um, we should say we got this from... We have another knife on loan from Brad. Revolver Tactical, Brad. Okay. He's the guy, he's the man at this show and, and the, the shows in this area. Excellent selection. We'll be showing you some other knives that we picked up mm -hmm. um, for our personal collection. Right. But uh, yeah, thank you, Brad. We had to jump on this video because, you know, it has we've, to go back tomorrow. We've only really got 12 hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it'll be kind of a little bit more of an overview, not like testing it or anything well, like that. Well, yeah, you know? I mean, we should say normally we, we look at a knife for at least a week or so mm -hmm. before we'll we... like pocket it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which I did maybe, pocket this one. Maybe cut a box or two open. Exactly, That's right, it, yeah. Um, I did pocket this one twice. <laughs> <laughs> but we that. can't I know we can't cut anything <laughs> with it so yeah no we've got some thoughts about that yes. though cutting stuff there's the blade steel all right well let's, let's, let's talk about some it. specs a little let's bit get here the this is a very interesting knife and uh, yeah there's a lot going for it I see why it's popular mm -hmm. or I see why it should be popular I think this yeah, light's okay. a little off I'm gonna see maybe that yeah, it's a little better yeah. okay yeah and that completely okay Anyways, so this is 3.25 inch blade. So it's, um, yeah, a little, um, I, I guess medium. That's kind of a medium yeah. average size for a, for a folder, right? Yeah. And it's CPM S30V. Okay, which is Crucible out of New York. Uh huh. S30V. Um, we've, I don't want to jump ahead, but we've seen uh, Benchmade use quite a bit of S30V over right. the years. Yes. Yeah. What else we got on this? Flat one? ground, drop point. Look at that. Now it's satin finish. Yeah, satin finish, drop point blade. Cool swedge on there too, by yeah, the way. Yeah, that's a little swedge. But yes, it's a. Oh my gosh, buddy! Come on. Our our pug is digging into stuff. He's like around the corner. And gathering back here. All right. Anyway, a flat ground blade on there. Okay. Now, Frankie. Yes. Sorry, I'm back. Look at the thinness of this blade stock. It is super thin. What's the spec on it? 0 0.09 thickness. 0 0.09. Guys, that's that's thin, okay? That's a thin blade stock. Bonus, that's going to cut. It's going to slice very very nicely. We can't we can't cut stuff with this cuz it's, you know, we're giving it back and it's a brand but new knife. But we would assume that it would cut. 
I'm assuming that it will. Mm -hmm. It okay. looks like it'd be sharp. Now, Frankie, once upon a time, mm -hmm. S30V was like the super steel. Right, yeah. Okay. But it's not anymore. I'm trying to get the focus on there. There's it's it's been, been surpassed. More, yes. Okay. Now Other steels have come out. Should we get into this now? Yes. Okay, let's knock the criticism out. I've okay. got I've only really got one critique or criticism on this knife. I have two. You have two? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll get mine out of the way because it might okay. be lengthy. All right. Um, metallurgy has been a thing. I, I've you know I've actually had to know it for work for quite a few years, and um, yeah, it's it's kind of one of my fascinations with the knives. Okay. Um, so you know I got into sharpening, right? Yeah. Okay. I do know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling I'm telling them. Okay. <laughs> 0 0.09 thickness. That's great for slicing, okay? Right. All right. The bug out, um, in, in so many ways, I mean, the name even suggests, that's like almost like a prepping term, but like mm -hmm. the name even suggests it's like, you know, it's an outdoors knife. And that's, especially with the handle. Yeah. Um, man, he's going to town on I some know, cardboard. I know. So, right, come on. With, with everything that this knife has going for it, it's an outdoorsy kind of knife. I would love to take this camping. This would be my this would be my folder just as much as a spider. Backpacking. It'd be an awesome backpacking knife. Especially backpacking. Light, lightweight backpacking where every ounce counts. Absolutely. Good point. You know? Ultralight backpacking. Yep. Okay. I would I would have this just as much as I would have a spider coat. Put it that mm -hmm. way. All right. But where I have the criticism is the S thirty V. They've been using this for years, okay? My experience with S thirty V yes. mostly from sharpening. All right, we've gotten various friends' knives in. Um, I think I chipped one of our knives way back when, but I've gotten a lot in for sharpening over the years. And I say a lot, I mean, you know, three or four. Mm -hmm. They all come in chipped if yeah. they have S30V. That's when not good. They have big chips, small chips, whatever. I Eat read about it. Chips. Thank you, thank mm -hmm. you, yeah. Um, I, I've read about it, okay, because that's that's the biggest difference between S30V and S35V. And S35VN was the next, it was an upgrade, okay? Right. Um, I went ahead and, and texted Mike Emler. He's a professional knife sharpener. Um, he's got a YouTube channel as well. Mm -hmm. I felt like I, I heard him he just... He knows knife steals. Well, he's, he's sharpened, he's freehand sharpened knives all his life, yeah. pretty much. Okay, and I feel like I heard him talk about this in a video, but I had to text him and I said... Mike, your thoughts on S30V? It chips, right? And he says, absolutely. I would take S35V uh -huh. in before S30V. That's what I've said in videos yeah. for a long time, okay? Well, and this is a brand new knife, so it seems like maybe they should have upgraded it to the s 35 in. Compare it to whatever you've got out there, guys. I don't know. Um, the one thing that came to mind for us, you guys know the Honda S2000s that we owned? <laughs> yeah. Um there was two versions of that. There AP1 was, and AP2. Right, and that's basically Generation 1 and Generation 2, okay? Mm -hmm. It's basically the same car, but in Generation 2, they made a few tweaks to improve it. Yes, that's, on like the... That's what they did with this blade steel. That's, yeah, and the rear <laughs> suspension, yeah. yeah. That's what Crucible the did. The snappy uh, oversteer. Um, that's, that's, that's what uh, Crucible did on this blade steel, is they mm -hmm. improved it, okay? They made minor tweaks to it. Now, specifically, if you want to get into it, they added niobium to S35VN. They made it, what was the stats on it? 15 to 20% tougher. Tougher, you guys. Mm -hmm. Toughness is less likely to chip, right? Yeah. I just feel like, and, and I'm only saying this as a potential negative, I don't know. I would love to hear feedback from, from the audience out mm -hmm. there who has these. or well, ha Yeah, or have who you gotten to test it? Has it chipped? Yeah, or or even just other S30V in general. Okay, it chips in my experience. Yeah. Um, yeah. Generation one versus generation two. Benchmade is still using generation one. I feel mm -hmm. like that's a, that's my only criticism. Like I said, on a brand new knife, I'm kind of just surprised. Well, that's my only okay. Real this criticism. is my criticism. It only comes in blue. <laughs> okay, and, and I agree with this too. Um, and maybe this will, maybe we'll see this in the future because I feel like this will be a popular knife, as it should be. Um, that's again, that's just one criticism yeah. that I had. It seems like it should come in like an orange or something more outdoorsy. I would love to see this knife in orange. Absolutely agreed. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, orange is a very functional, useful color outdoors kind of thing. Yeah, because yeah, you, because you'll be able to see it. You're not going to lose it. Mm -hmm. or less well, and my it. my my second point comes with your your point of the the toughness of the steel. Okay. Just the fact of it being like supposed to be a bug out, like it seems like it should be a nice durable knife. 
Yeah. I would want it to be chip resistant. Right. You know right. what I mean? It seems like it should be tough and so like throw it in your bug out bag and be able to not worry about it at all. Like the, that type of thing. The color's doing weird stuff again oh, on the sorry. camera. It's no, it's not your fault. Um <laughs> <laughs> I guess it wouldn't did you, be. I did don't you know. produce the camera? I did. No. Yes. I, that's our only real criticisms on it, but wow, is this an excellent knife. Yeah, but let's get into the great things about it. Well, okay, since we're at the pivot, um, since we're done with the blade, thumb studs, uh -huh. by the way. Very cool. Blue matches. I like it. Um, the blue doesn't really match it. Well, it's all, it's just not the same color. Look at you, Miss Criti yeah. Criticizing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah. No, the pivot, real quick. Um, it's not bearings. Frankie. That's good. Yes, it is. For an outdoorsy kind of knife, you, you don't want a bearing system. You yeah. don't want a bearing system. It's on uh, phosphor bronze bushing. Yeah, you can see them in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you can you out there, people? Probably not. No. Other side, you could flip it over. I bet you see them. Or if you close it. Or if we just tell people tell you to take our word for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's <laughs> yeah, that's all connected to the proprietary access lock. Nobody's ever stolen this. No. Uh -uh. No. Um, this, I love the axis lock. I really well, do. It's the fundability factor. It just is. Can, it's just fun to play with. You can um, open it multiple ways. Let's see if I can do this. You can even middle flick this knife. See if I can do it. Woohoo! Yeah. Good job. You can even middle flick it. Fully, well, let's get into that because it's the axis lock. A little bit of uh, jimping up here, a little bit of traction, nothing mm -hmm. too harsh, um, but it is functional at the same time. Uh, Frankie, with the axis lock, Fully ambidextrous. Fully ambidextrous, and take a look at that clip since we're talking about that. Very minimal clip. It is very deep. Thing. It's very deep carry, and I don't know, guys. You know, I don't like deep carry clips. This one works. I don't know. Reversible. It works. Um, so right or left and ambidextrous for the access lock. So it's awesome that way. Big lay in your hole. Yeah, check that out. It's definitely and and you know for an outdoors kind of knife, I probably want a lanyard. Yeah, you, you really could. Yeah. Um, oh, the barrel spacers. They're blue. Cool. Cool. Yeah, no liners. No steel liners. No Frankie, liners. It's, it's gonna break. It's gonna break though. See if I can do it twice. No, no, I'm scared now. Oh. Oh, you didn't even get your finger. Up. There we go. Okay. okay. Um, no steel liners though. That's craziness. That's gonna see. It's all flexy. That's cheap, right? No, it's thermoplastic. <laughs> it's um, what is it? Grivery. Grivery thermoplastic basically <laughs> is what this is and I've used this in various things over the I mean We've seen this in car parts uh, mountain bike parts various different things uh, for, durable. for durability and lightweight um, Perfect, it's mm -hmm. it's awesome and while we're talking about that. It's got a little bit of traction showing yeah, that it's got traction it's it's not overly done. It's just it's just nice. It's just nice. Um, but what else are we looking at with the handle? Um, it is super thin. You want to show them that? Yes, I was going to. And while I'm doing getting the calipers, I'm while you're weigh showing them. how thin it is, you're going to weigh it first. Yes, okay. I'm going to weigh them. Look at this, guys. That's that's the real number, and that's the number listed on you know Blade HQ and anywhere you check stats. 1.85, less than two ounces for a knife crazy. this size. Okay, and I wanted to bring in real quick, this knife reminds me in a lot of ways, go ahead and get the, Okay. yeah. This knife reminds me in a lot of ways of the Pardue from Branchmade, which. Look at how new, look at how, 0.39. What? That's insane. It's very thin, it's very thin. I just zero him again. Yeah, check that again. I know it's. 0.39. There we go, I think it said 0.42 or 0.41. Well, on the websites, maybe a lot, yeah. <laughs> um, check out my edge, though, Frankie. Oh, you always gotta take a second. Good edge. I, just... I do, with help from the KME. Uh -huh. I'm no freehand sharpener, though, like Mike. Um, but yeah, yeah, it reminds you of the Pardue. It does, because this is thin and light. But you know what? It's not that light. Yeah. That thing's super heavy. That's like Big Bertha now. <laughs> Big Bertha. <laughs> it's not a her. Um, I, I love I love that Pardue if you watch the channel for a while. Um, check out compared to the Mini Grip. Frankie, that's a long time favorite of yours. Talk about Big Bertha. That's an ounce heavier. Whoa. That's an ounce heavier than this one. Okay. And everybody has one of these. It's so light too. Like, but compared What's to that. What's the steel on that? I bet you it's 154. It is. See, I think even 154 might be a better choice. Anyway, off my steel rant. Yeah. Um, it, 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 I just, yeah, I made my point, I guess. Yes, good point, that is. All right, so we got the weight, 1.85. It's nothing. It's This is a fantastic carry knife. 
Um, it's just amazing. It's I, I, it's so I, light. I don't typically like deep carry clips, but it, this one works. I just love how little the clip is, too. It's just minimal and Everything perfect. about this knife is super minimal. That's what I, I think is just cool about it. Like I said, it'd be an awesome backpacking, backpacking, just lightweight carry knife. Look at the sharpening notch on there, too. Good grind on this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's the other thing. With S30V, I you know, if I put it on the KME, I would want to just follow the factory edge. I don't want to lay this out. I don't want to relax the bevel any more than that because it's, be it's gonna be thinner. it's gonna be weaker. Yeah. It's gonna be weaker. <laughs> I even brought this out. <laughs> Check it out, guys. That's uh, my Medford, the infamous Medford, right? A little bit of difference there. Yeah, it's, t it's touch. Blade stock on that. Okay. It's a little bit different there too. Yeah. 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 It's emasculating. For <laughs> <me>. <laughs> um, yeah, our dog is getting into trouble. If, if this was S30V, see here I am going with this rant again. If this was a big chunk of S30V, I wouldn't worry about it because it's very thick behind the edge, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's very thick. By the way, I carried this today and used it like three different times. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if this was S30V, I wouldn't worry about it so much. But this is thin and a steel that chips. I'm just worried that way. Yeah. So I rant it again. Yep. So people out there, have you used it? Have you had any problems with it? Yeah. What's your, you know, outdoor use uh, feedback? And, you know, it could be six months down the road. It could be a year down the road, whatever, whenever you're watching this. But um, we do want to hear that that type of feedback or just S30B in general. What else, Frankie? Well, I would be curious of what other colors people think that these should come in. Like just orange. besides. Well, okay. Besides orange. Benjamin, if you're watching, orange is next. Yeah. 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 I think this should be a successful model. Um, I kind of want one, despite yeah. my criticism for it. I would love to see it in a different steel. Mm -hmm. Maybe but, uh, that would be an option. Yeah. It'd be fun to customize them, like on Benchmade's website. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very thin. Let's, wants one. Let's check it out, too. Buddy. Hi, bud. All right, we're at 17 minutes. Let's get this wrapped okay. up. I think that's everything. Yep, that's everything. Yeah. Guys, um, this is an awesome knife. I see why it's popular, and I see why it should be popular. Frankie? Yes. You agree? I know. I think we should probably get one. We might have to get one. Yeah. There you go. Nice. All right, let's wrap this up this time. I'm not even looking at it. Oh, she's looking at me, guys. I know. Like, no hands. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it's kind of like no hands. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys. And thank you, Brad, for getting us this one. We'll get it back to you. In the morning. As early as we wake up, you know. I we know. were very late today. Uh-huh. All right. Um, we'll get it back to you. Check out check out Brad on Instagram. We'll, we'll put a <laughs> link in for, for him. He's got some good stuff. But, yep. Yep. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.